Today, I've got a great quick and easy dinner recipe that's on the table in less than 30 minutes. I'm going to show you how to make crispy sesame chicken with a sticky sweet glaze. Plus, I'll show you my secret to perfectly crispy chicken. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper and I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make. Like this sesame chicken. The chicken comes out perfectly crispy, but the sauce, ooh, this sauce is so good. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do for our sesame chicken is to get our sesame sauce going. So I'm gonna set my cooktop here to a medium high. And I'm gonna begin by adding some hoisin sauce to the mixture. That's gonna be a nice, rich base for this sauce. Now to this, I'm going to, to add some soy sauce and some plain old regular white vinegar some sesame oil, and this is where we get that rich sesame flavor. Minced garlic, because everything is better with garlic. And for a little kick, I've got some chili oil. And last but not least, a little bit of sweetness to balance all of this saltiness, I've got some brown sugar. We're just going to whisk this together until it starts to boil, and then we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it hang out. Okay, so our sauce is boiling. I am going to turn this down and just let it simmer and hang out. I'm actually gonna put it on the stove behind me and let it hang out while we work on the rest of the chicken. So here I have some boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I'm just going to cut it into about one inch pieces. So you wanna trim off any extra fat. And I just cut it down into strips and then crosswise into pieces. So you're looking for uniform size pieces so that they cook the same. Okay, so chicken is all cut up. I'm going to season it real quick with some all-purpose seasoning. We're going to season the coating too, so we don't have to worry too much about getting all the sides. So I'm gonna set that aside, and now we're going to work on our dredge. So here I have one of my favorite kitchen tools, is my zip top bag holder. Put that in, put the little arms up. Put the edge of the bags into the little holder, and voila, it just stands there. You don't have to worry about holding it. So to this bag, I'm going to add some flour right into the bag and some cornstarch. Now this is what makes the light crispy coating on the outside. So we're gonna get that in. I'm just going to smoosh it together. I'm gonna to add a little bit of the all-purpose seasoning. We wanna make sure every layer is seasoned well. Yeah, just a little bit more. A lot of times if you feel like your food is bland, it's probably just because it's under seasoned. So making sure every layer is seasoned properly um, just kind of helps make your food taste better. Okay, so this is all ready. We are going to take our chicken and we are going to place it in the bag. I find that tongs is really one of the easiest ways to do this. Take it off, seal it up and then just get everything nice and coated. To make it easier to take the chicken out of the bag, I just use a slotted spoon and just kind of take out scoops of the chicken, if you can get it on your spoon, shake off some of that excess, and back on the plate it goes. So we're just gonna get all of our chicken out of the dredge. Next up, we're going to make our egg mixture, and this is going to help our second coating stick even better to the chicken. And we're just going to get those mixed up. Now we're just going to go from egg back into our flour mixture. And when I do this, I'm gonna to try to shake off any of that extra flour. You want everything to get a nice coating. I find tongs are the easiest. Now this is gonna be one of those processes where you're not gonna to wanna to do it all at once into the bag or you will have a big, gloopy, chicken, eggy, flour, cornstarchy mess. That doesn't sound fun. So give them a toss, get another coating on there, and we'll put our 
twice coated chicken on a separate plate. And I'm just gonna repeat this process with the rest of my chicken. Okay, so our chicken is all double dredged. I have the basket to my air fryer here. So I am just going to do a little rearranging. So when I cook in my air fryer, what I like to do to make the mess minimize is I take a sheet of parchment paper and I just rip it in half and I lay it right there in my air fryer. I find that half a sheet works perfectly in mine and you can save this for the next time. But I'm gonna just to be on the safe side, give it a little squirt of nonstick cooking spray just to be safe. And then we're going to place our chicken chunks in an even layer. We don't wanna double up at all in the air fryer basket. Now you might have to cook this in batches and that's perfectly okay. Okay, looks like I'm gonna to have to do mine in two layers. Once I get it in, I'm gonna give the chicken a quick coat of cooking spray. Then we're going to pop it in our air fryer for 380 for maybe about eight minutes or so. We're gonna check it about halfway through, maybe around six minutes and see how it does. Okay, so our chicken is done. I did temp it with my meat thermometer to make sure it was 165. So now we're going to drop it right into our sauce and we're just going to give all of our chicken a toss in that sauce. Ooh, look at that. Turns this beautiful dark color. I have a nice plate of steamed rice here, so I'm going to take our coated chicken, pile it on top of the rice. It looks so good. Okay, couple garnishes. I have some sesame seeds. We're gonna really take home that sesame part of this sesame chicken. And then for a little green, I have some chives that I took out of the garden here, and I'm just gonna use some kitchen shears and just snip those onto there. Okay, going in. Gotta find a nice small one. Here's a nice small one. Get a little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's sweet, it's crunchy. That little bit of chili oil, not too spicy, but it, you can definitely tell it's there. But it's not gonna like knock your socks off spicy. This air fryer sesame chicken is definitely a keeper. What's your favorite homemade takeout recipe? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want another quick Asian inspired recipe, make sure you check out the Korean beef bulgogi bowl. I think you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.